I don't know how many people live in Kibera. <laughs> Nobody does. Even the best guess could be half a million off. I came to Kibera as a college student to study ethnic violence among youth, but returned for another reason. I rented a shack, learned the local slang, and stumbled into friendships with a widowed nurse and an orphan who grew up on the streets of Nairobi. The three of us shared a goal, spark change from within Kibera. Along the way, we had our trust betrayed, suffered terrible loss, and witnessed brutal violence. But we pressed on through 10 years of trials, bringing light to one of the world's largest slums.